The standing wave structure of matter in space has been a theory since Erwin Schrödinger's cat. Schrödinger and Einstein had the idea that point-like particles weren't really particles, but just waves in space. As many knows, the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics won. It says that photons and electrons are both particles and waves. Even today it is the most favored theory amongst quantum theorists. But what if Einstein's and Schrödinger's ideas were correct? The best way to describe the standing wave structure of matter in space is the vortex. You see the water flowing into the vortex, but at the same time waves are flowing away from the center. The hydrogen atom is the simplest structure of matter we know of, and it might behave in a similar way. Imagine this as being a hydrogen atom, the blue line being the orbit of the electron. The hydrogen atom undergoes a transition when a photon is absorbed. In normal physics we say that the electron makes a quantum leap. It goes from one quantum state to another. In normal quantum physics the leap is discontinuous and random. When a photon hits the orbit of the electron, this quantum leap takes place. A photon is an electromagnetic radiation and a wave in itself. When the photon has been absorbed in the hydrogen atom, it continues into the center of the atom, the proton. At the core of the atom, the photon stops and its direction reverses. Now continue your imagination of the photon reversing and now traveling outwards. In this way, the atom has two flows, one inward and one outward, just like the vortex. When the outward energy of the photon is bigger than the inward, the atom emits a photon. Photons continuously bombard the hydrogen atom, reverse their flows and if strong enough emits from the atom as electromagnetic radiation, whereby the structure of the atom is changed. But if it is in balance, the atom is a standing wave in space. The orbit of the electron is a balance point between the external energy of photons and the internal reverse of the same. What we consider as matter is when the external wave and the opposite internal wave resonates in the orbit of the electron. It is illustrated in this diagram from Dr. Myla Wolf's website. His work treats the standing structure of matter in a different way than mine, but he is definitely onto something and he is a mathematician which I am not. The periodical system shows different frequencies in different atoms. The frequencies determine which element is observed. At this time we are only able to observe the elements that resonate exactly in the orbit of the electron. I know this is contrary to what you have ever been taught in school. If it is correct, a lot of books will have to be rewritten. But don't worry, these matters take time.